Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. So we've just got a view here of the champ's room. And now we're taking somewhere else. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Alright, well that's good. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become a champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. Yeah, I'm sure I do. You're gonna be the champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a little itty-bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name down here, okay? Ah, sign me up. Let's do it. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part, it lacks a little punch as the fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Ooh, ain't that a beaut. Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that's good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. <laughs> Mario's like, uh... Now that we got the business side out of the way... Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Alright, so it looks like we're finally going to get our little run to the top started here. As you know, you are a contracted contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Groma says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. <laughs> that sounds bad. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Oh, okay, what exactly did we sign back there? Man, there's so many rules and stipulations here. Oh, wow, look at this place. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy, 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 whatever, room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal here that suspiciously looks like a Game Boy Advance. Mr. Greville will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick reserve a match. Uh, okay, sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? Uh, let's reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Uh, that sounds easy. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait till security comes for you. Finding is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Yeah, it's just like every other battle we fought. If we've been an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait till security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Alright. So we're just waiting around here. Thankfully, they don't take too long. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Eh, it's the Goomba Bros. How hard can it be? Alright, so we make our way out to the ring here, to the cheers of the crowd, and get used to seeing this. this of course, this one's a little bit more detailed than the rest of them are going to be, but we're going to be going here a lot in this chapter. Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros, and a newcomer with a hankered for hammering, the Grey Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head, head up for the fight. Het up? Really? <laughs> How do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? 
Huh, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Oh, you sure are a bunch of cocky goombas, aren't you? Hot diggity dang! Fight fans, there's a great Gonzalez now, striding on up. Tell you this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Just let me explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! Oh, he struck first, so yeah, they get a little first strike here, but... Like, Goombas are really threatening to us at all, really. They... those total cowards, those chickens attacked us before the bell rang. Oh, that is it. Come on, we aren't losing to punks like them. Let's waste them. Oh, quit crying, will you? That's just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, so we have the fight condition that we need to appeal to the crowd at least once, so I say we go ahead and do that. Uh, mostly because I'm planning to take them out on this turn with a multi-bounce. So let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I think I mopped them up there a little bit. So yeah, you know, the first battle is, of course, ridiculously easy. Just make sure you appeal to the crowd once. Basically what happens is if you don't uh, satisfy the battle condition that Grubba gives you, uh, then you don't, like, your next fight has to be uh, against, like, a lower-ranked opponent. So, uh, what was the Sakes of First Victory like? Uh, that fight? What a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Uh, all right, so we get our first little uh, dance in the limelight there. Awesome. So yeah, we came out, we won our first battle really easily. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene here will give you your fight money. See ya. Ooh, fight money. I like money. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Oh yeah, thanks for the three coins, jeez. Alright, so our ranking rose to 19. Next fight will not be set up until you select Reserve a Match on the Terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the Terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. You too, Miss Jolene. Alright, are we finally going to get released here? Nope, that doesn't look like it. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Uh, alright, I guess. I'm King K, man, just a Bush League scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher-ranked foes, Bomb. If you can't clear them, you, Bomb, end up vitaling a lower-ranked fighter, Bomb. <laughs> That's really distracting. You can't climb the Bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel, Bomb Bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb. <laughs> okay. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Oh yeah, this guy's awesome. I love Bandy Andy. Heh, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't really feel star power. Now, how do you know about star power? Okay, cool, and this last guy with sweet purple kicks is known as Cleftor. Crack! Cleftor no like big friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you can get used to him. <laughs> anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. Okay, so we finally got our three coins, and now we're free to do what we want, uh, pretty much just in time, too. Let's go ahead and check out the rankings here, just to see how far we have to climb. As you can see, there are only 20, so it's not like it's that uh, far to go. But we do have to beat every single one of these teams, uh, all the way up to Rockhawk. So, it's going to take a little while. This chapter can be a little bit slow, mostly just because there's always... Uh, well, not always, but there's usually stuff to do, like, in between battles. So, I don't know. This thing, it can take a little while, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And also, as uh, Bandy Andy mentioned, we can take a rest in the bed here. And uh, pretty much you can just do that in between each battle to go into each one with full HP and FP. So, uh, you might as well take that, you know. Um, and so, let's go. Let's just talk to these guys. I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. Yeah, you won't be seeing Bandy Andy on the locker room too much. He actually plays a, sort of a larger role in the chapter, but of course we'll get into all that. Wreck, 
No closer. It's <laughs> Dory, Matt's not a bit gruff. But I think he's actually nicer than he sounds, you know? Maybe he's just a little shy. Yeah, maybe he is. I don't know. Anyway, uh, looks like we're close to running out of time here. I don't want to, like, start another battle or something before we actually do run out of time. So in the next part, we'll start climbing up the rankings and uh, seeing how much progress we can make. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.